purpose is to build the world's best flying cars. It's going to be dangerous and challenging. It's not going to be easy. This is incredible, what an attack. I was not expecting maybe to be so hard. I don't think it's going to happen. I literally don't think the race is going to happen. SPEDA's mission is to be the race that creates the ultimate flying car. Back in 2018, a young, ambitious team based in Sydney had a revolutionary goal to change the aviation industry. took off with our new MacGyvered uh, optocopter flight controller setup and it worked really well, super stable. External factors such as harsh weather conditions can impact the racing performance, leading to crashes. The rain's really over today. I don't think it's going to happen. I, don't, I literally don't think the race is going to happen. I don't yeah, think I'm just saying, is there, is think... there like a possibility of events where it does happen? Otherwise, let's pack up. There is no time left before the demonstration flight at the drag strip. The team realizes they're going to miss the deadline and won't have the speeder take part in the event. Flight testing continues into the night without success. We're going to be practice flying um, this afternoon and all of tomorrow uh, with the goal of heading out to Broken Hill. We've sourced some new ESCs from um, some really good guys. They make awesome stuff. Their ESCs completely solved the desyncing issue, but our system has a whole lot of other issues. Uh, the motors supposedly don't have enough iron in them and get saturated very quickly. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> so much stuff going wrong. <laughs> Testing at a rapid pace can be dangerous. Nice. And this has led to the safety first approach that allowed the now employees. suspect that the frame and the back of the ESC is acting as a capacitor um, because there's so much power. It's crazy. We are sort of there. So it's flying now. It's very difficult to make it go very far. And those things are something we're trying to overcome and the more we can overcome them now, it's the will set us better as we try to put, move to push people into, into these devices. As we work more and more, we learn more and more, and we're just we're getting better. And I think we're going to pull this off, which is which is really exciting. And, and you know, it, it really gives us confidence in what we're doing. We do break through this initial barrier. Let's go, mate. Despite yet another crash, the team remains confident in gathering race data from the Mark II speeder and its performance ahead of the final flight test in Broken Hill. It should be all sweet. It should be all good. It's late on a Saturday night and we're uh, about to head out into past Broken Hill. We've been waiting a, a year and a half for this moment. I've been picturing having us go out into the desert, fly a speeder in the desert and just create an amazing, amazing event. We've gone through a lot. We're a little bit nervous about the technology. Things are still a little bit twitchy. Things go wrong. This is the technology business. So let's see. I think uh, it's a nervous trepidation, basically. The 
team head west on an epic 1200 kilometer journey to Broken Hill. Working diligently in dusty and harsh conditions, the engineers meticulously scrutinize every aspect of the race vehicle, triple checking and fine tuning until they're satisfied it's ready for flight. I don't know, we're gonna start, start off slowly, start off slow, we'll build it up then. Get some cool shots and then we'll test it. We're gonna send it, that's what we're gonna do. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming to this moment. Um, we're all excited. We've had a lot of these moments that haven't gone quite so well, but this is this is a big one. I think we're gonna have a good flight today though.